Welcome everybody, my name is Vince Andy and welcome to my first unboxing video ever. I'm really excited to get started into this. I've been watching a lot of YouTubers and a lot of information going in and out, in and out of YouTube with how these unboxings are and like video game stuff and I just kind of wanted to give it a go just to try it out, just for fun. I don't care whether I do bad, I don't care whether I do good, uh, I just kind of want to do this for me, just for fun. So I'm going to start off with the BAM box today. Um, I've actually been getting this for about six months now and it is by far my favorite box. I get about two to four other boxes depending on the month um, of other boxes and if I had to cancel a subscription or um, get rid of subscription just because to, to save money or something like that this would not be the box that I cancel. I am addicted to this box and I will be getting it for the foreseeable future. So let's go ahead and get into it. I am going to go ahead and cut this open. Uh, I've got my knife right here. And there we go. And we open it up. And as you can see we have some artwork on the inside. Um, looks pretty cool. I believe... I don't know if they're gonna... this is gonna be the permanent inside of the box or if this is just gonna be kind of like a theme art each week. Um, but I believe the theme this month is Legends. Legends. That's... yeah. So... first item out of the box is our BAM box in. Um, looks like it's the Winter Soldier. I don't know if you guys can see that. I got kind of a glare back here. I don't know how well it's going to affect you guys, but it's the Winter Soldier. Um, winter is coming, and these pins are exclusive to Bambox. Um, I definitely like that most of the boxes are switching to these pins that you actually clip in instead of those just little plastic pieces of crap that you use the the needle bar and you put it up through the the clasp. I'm glad that they're switching to those because those are a lot more valuable to me. Uh, they don't really have a lot of value per se but like they're more usable so they're more um, welcome in in getting them in your boxes. So we have a black pouch here with weapons the first time I've gotten a weapon in a box that is a lie. Uh, a couple months ago, or maybe it was last month, um, I got the Demogorgon Killer, the baseball bat from Stranger Things. Um, I believe it was in the band box as well. I am not familiar with Stranger Things. I have not seen it yet. I know a lot of you are probably yelling at me right now. Uh, it is on my like immediate future of watching, so I will be getting to those. But it looks like these are little ninja knives. They are not sharp, so you can't really cut yourself on them, which is good. Um, yeah, they're heavy duty metal too. They're. Don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, those are very, very nice. I am liking those. That is one of the very unique ways that Bam Doc Bam Box does things. So I'm really liking that. Next we have our, that's the sort of like the tell-all booklet. We'll do that at the very end to see what uh, variations and stuff are possible in the box. So one of the first items out is a comic book, Red Sonia. It looks like it's signed by the artist or possibly an actor or somebody or somebody that like maybe does cosplay or something to that effect. I'm liking that. Ooh. Ooh, I'm liking this. This is it's another comic. It does not look like it's signed by anybody. But that doesn't mean it isn't viable because it is a variant. Bambox usually does their own covers or their own variant covers, which I'm really liking. It's called Vader's Down. Um, one thing I don't like about getting comics in all these boxes is that they're variations, so they're 
their collector's items or they're signed or all this other stuff. So I can't open them and read them. Like, I don't want to. I want to just keep them in the plastic and let them just be there for a collector's item or display or mm -hmm. some of that effect. So sometimes I'll actually go out and look for these comics in stores uh, with their original covers and I'll read them through that way. So I keep the collector's items and I still read through the comic without contaminating the package. Looks like we have a Boba Fett with Samurai aspect to him. I really like that print, it's kind of nice. That print, it's kind of nice. Really like getting the prints in here. I hang them up at work, I hang them up here in my, my dungeon. It looks like it is signed by either the artist or probably the artist um, down at the bottom. The very last item is not sure who the character is, but it looks kind of familiar. Like The Legends of Tomorrow, the DC show that I think it's on season two now. Um, but there's that. I am not familiar with DC Legends of Tomorrow. I um, catch glimpses of it every now and again just from waiting for my show to come on, the one I watch religiously, and that is Supernatural. Um, so I'll catch glimpses of the ends of the episodes right before, because it goes on right before Supernatural. So I'll get that quite a bit. Um, and it, it looks interesting, it looks a little tacky, but I'd be willing to give it a shot. I know there are a lot of people out there who are really enjoying it. Um, but that is the end of the box. The artwork down at the bottom is there. Uh, let's go ahead and see what everybody else is getting in the box. I'm, excited. I'm always excited to see what everybody else gets. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but there is a trading website through Bandbox. Uh, bandbox.com slash community, I believe. And you can trade for other pins, other variants. Um, you can sell like things you don't want, or you can just buy what you need. And I really, really like that. It's it's a good way to go about things. There's always things that I'm wanting or like, oh, I didn't like this, but I want this. So I really like that aspect of what they're doing. So we have the Bandbox Parody Pins. The Bandbox Parody Pins from artist Nick Kokozoa. There is the Captain America pin. Looks like we have two variations of the Hydra pin. Or maybe that's not a Hydra, that looks really weird. Looks like an octopus. Smiling octopus. And then the Winter Soldier, which is what I got. I really like that one. In fact, I'd say that one is my favorite. I don't really like the, any of the other ones. Um, next item that everybody will be getting is the Vader Down comic by Dynamic Forces. Um, looks like it is a variant cover. Um, and then there's an even further variant cover of a black and white. Only 5,000 released of those. Um, I typically go more towards the color just because I really like the way the art is usually done in color. When they do the black and white prints, uh, it leaves something out for me, and I would much prefer getting the color. It's very rarely that you'll see me go after that that black and white variant. Um, but some of them, some of them do catch your eye, and you just wanna you wanna go after them. Next page looks like oh, this is the everybody will be getting um, the knives. Um, looks like. There is a variant of a sword style um, small weapon. Uh, every legend begins with a story, and every story involves a person, most often encountering some sort of peril. Whether on their own or part of a team, they're faced with a decision, and in that decision, either with acts of bravery or deceit, they become a legend. And what do most legends have in common? They need a way to battle, attack, or defend. 
And so we give you your own magical purple pouch with an ability to do just that. Become a legend today. Now, the pouch isn't actually purple. It's really kind of black. But, um, there's the throwing stars or the swords. I got the throwing stars, which I much would rather have. Um, there is a little disclaimer down at the bottom, and I'll go ahead and read that. These are letter openers and are not made for actual battle, real or imaginary. They are used as a collector's item. The band box assumes no responsibility for injury, damage, or loss incurred in the use of this or any other products. Now, I really like that. Today I just used my knife. To di our next unboxings, I am definitely going to be putting these to use. Um, definitely gives a little bit more character to the unboxing shows. So, I'm going to use them. I'm going to like them. But be careful. You still could probably sharpen these, use them for weapons, which I know there's probably people out there that are going to do that, they're going to get injured. Just be careful. So, the art print that I thought was Boba Fett um, doesn't look to actually be called Boba Fett. Um, they're calling it the Galactic Samurai Art Print. Um, there are four variants. Um, there's the variant that I got, the color, with him holding a single sword in what looks like a fancy picture frame style of art. There's also the black and white version of that. Uh, like I said earlier, I do prefer the colored versions. The black and white just doesn't give enough contrast for me. Um, then there is another print of the Galactic Samurai art, which he has two blades, one in each hand, and they're crisscrossing across his chest. Now, I really like that. almost think I would have preferred that one. That one looks really kind of cool. Um, and then there's the black and white variation of that one. So, next page. Uh, they're announcing their next month's theme of Anniversary. Now, I'm really excited for this box. It's supposed to be an accumulation of everything that they've done in the past year. So, all of their, um, their horror, their watching, um, their, their strange box, their, um, some of the other boxes that they've done, but they said they're adding a little twist or a little flair to some of the items that they've already done. So I'm really curious to see what we get there. I'm imagining a lot of things are going to be signed. A lot of things are going to be very, very unique. And I can't tell you how excited I am for that. Like, that will be absolutely amazing. Um, if you are not familiar with it, uh, check out their Facebook page. Um, from the 19th of December to... I believe the 18th of January, uh, they are giving daily prizes away. And these are very unique items. They're video games, art prints, all signed by uh, people who play the characters on TV, or the artists, or maybe the original actor from 50 years ago. Like, these are awesome items. Go check it out. There's a daily winner every morning. I enter every morning, so you should too. Uh, it looks like everybody is going to get the Red Sonja um, comic book, and looks like there are some variants, um, but it's just in the autograph. Looks like a hundred people will be getting a silver autograph, and fifty people will be getting a um, gold signed autograph. To me, I don't care what color the ink is; it's signed. I'm happy. The last item in the box is the Legends of Tomorrow Sarah Gray Stargirl. And it's signed by her, the person who plays her on the TV show. Like I said, this is on my queue to watch, but this one unfortunately is not very high. I definitely put Stranger Things nearer in my future than I do this one. So. But I will eventually get around to that one. I am interested in checking it out. Uh, on the last page it shows a giveaway of a life-size replica of the Lord of the Rings Aragorn's sword. After he becomes the King of Gondor. I will definitely be putting my name in there for this. I'm excited for it. 
Well, that is the end of the unboxing. Thank you for joining me. Uh, please like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. I will be definitely doing a lot more of these, and I hope to improve the quality of these as I go along. Um, so just let me know any tips, comments, or just shout out in the comments below. And uh, I'll try to keep up with you guys. Thanks for watching.